If you watch my video on the PQ method for factoring, this will be very similar in the content, the AC method for factoring. The difference is our A, remember we have AX squared plus BX plus C, our A is not equal to one. For example, 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. My A is 6 next to the x squared. My B is 7 and my C is 2. 7 for the 7x and then the constant is C, 2. And as you can see in front of the x squared, it's not 1x squared or commonly as x squared. It's 6x squared. So this is where we use the AC method for factoring in the two binomials. Similar to the PQ method, we start out with a table. But in this case, on the left-hand side, we have A times C. And on the right-hand side, we have A plus C equaling, equaling B. Using our equation from above, 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. Remember, we have A times C on the left and A plus C equals B on the right. We're using this A, B, and C from our equation above. Again, where our A is 6, our B is 7, our C is 12. Well, A times C in this case would be A is 6, C is 2, so 6 times 2, which equals 12. So in that A times C column, we put A times C equals 12. And then on the right, the A plus C will equal B, and that's got to equal 7. That comes from the B where the 7x is. This equation, 6x squared plus 7x plus 12, we've set up a table here where A times C equals 12 on the left side, and A plus C equals B, which would equal 7 on the right side. As with the PQ method, the first thing we're going to do is find all the factors of 12. My A times C equals 12. And as you can see, 1 times 12 equals 12. 2 times 6 equals 12. 3 times 4 equals 12. And let's not forget our negatives. Negative 1 times negative 12 is positive 12. Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12. And negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. I'm just putting all these in here. And again, they all equal 12. These are all the different factors of whole numbers that I'm multiplied together give me a positive 12. Similar to before, once we have all these individual factors, we're going to add together. A plus C equals B, which equals 7. We take our 1 times 12 here, we take the 1 here, and the 12 here. 1 times 12 is 12, and on the right, 1 plus 12 is 13. Here's my 2 here, and my 6 here, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 plus 6 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. So 3 plus 4 equals 7. And so what we got here is, similar to the PQ method, we found where our A plus C equals B, which is 7, right here. But we're not done yet. As I showed you on the previous page, we found our 3 times 4, which equals 12. And 3 plus 4 equals 7. What we're going to do with that, that 3 plus 4 equals 7, I show you in step 7. The original equation is 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. That 3 and 4, which equals 7, I'm going to replace that. I'm going to replace 7x with those two numbers. 7x equals 3x plus 4x. And again, where do they get that 3 and 4? From right here. So when I rewrite this equation, instead of 6x squared plus 7x plus 2, it's now 6x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 2. It's the same thing. I've just split up that 7x and a 3x 
plus 4x. Step 8, I've got my equation I had on the previous page. 6x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 2. And I'm going to separate those out. I'm just underlining them so you can see where I replaced it. But now I'm going to separate them out with two sets of parentheses. The first set, 6x squared plus 3x, that's in one set of parentheses. And then plus the second set, 4x plus 2. Again, all I've done is separate these out with two sets of parentheses. But now I can factor out some of these numbers and letters in these binomial equations. On the 6x squared plus 3x, I'm factoring out a 3x here. And 3x, when I factor it out, leaves 2x plus 1. And I go back and check this. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 1 is 3x. Then the second one, the only thing I can pull out of here is a 2. So when I pull 2 out of 4x plus 2, I get 2x plus 1. So I can back, go back and check this. 2x times 2x is 4x. And 2 times 1 is 2. But what you notice what I have here now, this equation, which I've pulled out some numbers and letters, 3x times 2x plus 1 in the first part, plus 2 times 2x plus 1. And right here, you see this is the same as this. If I factor those both out, that 2x plus 1 out of both of those binomial equations, I'm pulling it out. All I'm left with is 2x plus 1 goes to the to right here. I'm factoring it out. And I'm left with the 3x plus 2. And that becomes that. So ultimately, when I factor this out, what I've done here is I've rewritten this method for solving a trinomial equation where the x squared has a number beyond 1 in front of it. My final answer, 3x plus 2 times 2x plus 1.